Hi everyone, it's Veronica and welcome to my closet tour video. Um, I'm just filming this really quick intro. I'm going to try to edit all of the pieces together. Um, so this is my closet, um, as you can see behind me, and um, I just tried to film a before and after, so I filmed my closet completely empty, and then now I'm filming it with all of the clothes in it, and just to show you how I organize things. So my closet philosophy is to keep things really visible and accessible, and group things together in categories, so that when you're getting ready in the morning, if you're looking for, you know, a short sleeve top or three quarter sleeve top, um, or you know, a sleeveless blouse, you'll know exactly where to go because everything is grouped together. So a lot of people organize their closet by color, which is great as well. But I prefer to organize by category and then by color. So you know, I start with long sleeve, three quarter sleeve, half sleeve, short sleeves. And sleeveless and I just work my way down and then each of those categories are grouped into colors it just makes more sense to me and then um, something else too I keep all of my jackets and tops and tunics and sleeveless blouses on my top level here and then on my bottom level is where I keep um, skirts and some pants and other just stuff I don't wear as often and then behind me as you'll see that is where I keep all of my dresses because it's the longest hanging bar so you don't want you don't want your dresses touching the ground and I realize my closet is a lot larger um, than most people People's closets. Um, I think, you know, if you're living in a smaller house or an apartment, you know, you're obviously not going to probably have a closet that's this large. So I realized that my closet isn't like a great example of showing how to peep, showing people how to make the most of their space because, you know, I am fortunate to have such a large space to store my things in. But, um, I think that I can offer a few tips on how to group um, your items and what where to start from left to right and you know sort of how it works for me. The main thing about your closet is if you really love fashion and you're into clothes, you want to make your closet as accessible as possible so you're not looking for things in the morning. You know you want to put things back exactly in the order that they were in. That way when you're looking for you know a pair of black pants you know exactly where they are. You don't have to shuffle through everything to see it. And then it also helps you to see exactly what's in your closet because sometimes you know it might inspire you to create a different outfit or you may just think oh you know I hadn't thought of pairing you know this top with that skirt so it's nice to see what you have um, access to it's nice to see all of the items in your closet you know and I know a lot of people tend to like really cram in everything I try to space things apart so that it's easier to see you know exactly what I have um, so I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you guys in my next one bye So this is my painted closet and as you can see it's it used to be just an off-white color and now it is this medium gray color and I do have a few things in there right now just some clothes that I wore this week hanging from one of the rods there and then I have a, the little windows up there and there is a bar up there um, where you could I guess feasibly hang things but I don't because I don't want to block the windows and I can't reach up there so there's kind of no point and then as you walk into the closet there's this shelf where I keep my shoes and my handbags and then um, there's these two bars keep skirts and things like that on the bottom bar and on the top bar I just keep most of my shirts and blouses and then um, back there is where I keep my dresses because it has the longer length there and you can see I have a dress there and then this wall is just bare I'm trying to figure out what to do with it and this is just a painting that we got um, that came with the house and it's in one of my master my master bathroom but I just have it here for now because we had to take it off when we painted so that's just to give you an idea of how big the closet is and um, the new paint color so we kind of have a pretty it's a narrow closet but it's really quite long so you can kind of see there um, how it looks. So that's that, and I'm about to start filling it up. Hi everyone, welcome to my closet tour. Um, I'm in my bathroom right now, so you can kind of see there's a little towel rod and then our master bathroom goes directly um, into the closet we do have two closets um, this one is mine and then my husband has one on the other side so this is the door to my closet um, and as you can see the first thing you see um, when you walk in is this white shelf and at the very top there um, you can see the windows again um, and then I have just um, some box some shoe boxes that I like from Kate Spade and Tori Birch 
And then I have a little box from Victoria's Secret where I keep um, some scarves folded. And then the first shelf is where I keep my handbag. So you can um, see the ones I have there. I actually don't have a huge collection of shoes, shoes or handbags. I've always kind of liked, I always tend to use like the same things over and over. So I have like my Kate Spade, a Tory Burch. I have my one from ASOS. I have a Gap bag there, a Michael Kors, um, and then just a random one. I'm not even sure what brand that is. And then the next shelf down, I just have some of my shoes. And then all the way down as you go, you can just see that I have more and more shoes. And then at the very bottom, I just keep some flats and sandals and things like that. And I have some heels there as well. And then I have some more flip-flops and running shoes sort of over on that side. Um, and then I guess I'll start with my top rack. So as you can see, um, my top rack starts with some blazers and then it goes into cardigans. So I keep all of my blazers um, together over here and then I have um, three pairs of dress pants and these dress pants are my more fitted like skinny type dress pants. Um, and then on the bottom level, I'll show you later, I have dress pants that are like long and more wide leg. And then I just have cardigans and I kind of try to organize them by brights to neutrals. And then the next thing you'll see is tunics um, and it goes from white to darker ones and these are long like shirts that are longer. And then it goes into tops with like three quarter sleeves or half sleeves. And then again, I try to do them just in color. And I did end up going to Old Navy, by the way, and picking up that top, so you'll probably see that. Um, and then it goes into dress shirts, so collared dress shirts. Um, and then I have a light pink and a bright pink and some gingham print, my chambray. So as you can see, I'm really trying to organize everything by color, going from light to dark. And then I have some kind of blouses. Um, in in all various prints and then it goes to short sleeve top so you know i have my little gap polka dot top another polka dot a lace i did this is the shirt i got from old navy um my lilac shirt from zara and then my closet goes to um sleeveless top so again you'll see it going from light to darker so i try to organize it all by color and the reason i do this is it just makes it so much easier to get ready in the morning so i'll show you a shot from there so that's see where my shoe shelf starts and then it just the top row is all um tops and jackets and then towards the very end here i just have like some bathing suit cover-ups like i have this um silky one leopard print one that i got at this really nice um swimsuit store so um at the end there is just kind of random stuff and then i'll start um with my bottom row so on the bottom here i keep all of my skirts um, the first three are my J. Crew number two pencil skirts since I wear those all the time. And then um, I do have a pair of lacy shorts there as well that you can see. And then it just kind of goes to all my black skirts. Then there's some lace and tweed, um, a striped skirt, and then it goes into my um, off white lacy skirts. And then I have um, some more blazers down there and jackets. And these are just ones I don't wear as often. And then I have some of my Lululemon jackets. I have kind of a gap there, um, but I have some Lululemon jackets and then some more casual um, like striped tees and stuff that I wouldn't really wear to work. I try to keep everything on top, stuff that I wear to work. And then on the bottom, I keep more casual stuff. And then I have an assortment of sweaters. And um, right now I'm just keeping these on the bottom because you know it's getting really hot here, so I don't wear them that often. So I just keep them there. Um, and then as you can see, I'll back up at the very end of my closet there and to the right there you'll see a painting but that's not going to be in here um, it's just here for now so at the back is the shelf that has that's longer so the bar goes up taller so it's the ideal place to store dresses and at the very top is just where I keep my jeans so on the left there this pile over here is just um, some some jeans like regular flared jeans and some shorts and then I have my skinny jeans um, next to them and then I just keep some cute little decorative bags. And um, I actually don't have that many jeans. I know like tons of people like collect jeans. I really just try to focus on buying ones that are like really flattering on my body. So I like to kind of stick with the same styles and brands. So I'm sure it will grow eventually, but right now I'm happy with the amount of jeans I have. And then these are all of my dresses. So the way I have this organized is basically starting from the right side. Um, I do have one random sweater here just because it's a sweater coat, so it's really long. So from here, I have a few like cottony, beachy sundress type dresses. Um, and then it goes into more um, fancy like party dresses. I have this, that pink one, for example. Um, and these are more for like special events, special occasions. And then it starts getting into the work dresses. So, you know, you can see my Jason Wu there. Um, I have a bunch of white 
dresses that I can wear to work. And then I kind of went into prints and colorful dresses. Um, and then from there, this, this one here is kind of a maxi dress, but from there I have more dresses that are work appropriate and I have the polka dot print and the striped and then it goes all into black dresses. So as you can see, if I back up, I have just a ton of black dresses that I can wear to work. I'm gonna have a gray one as well. And then the last about four dresses are all just long maxi dresses. So that's kind of a general overview of my closet. Also up there, I keep hats and my beach bag. So that's kind of my closet right there in a nutshell. Um, I hope you all can see everything clearly in this. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave them below. Oh, and I almost forgot. People are probably wondering where I keep all of my accessories. And if I turn around, um, they're here. Let me remove this bag. Um, so I have my little Marc Jacobs Daisy bag there, but I keep all of them on one of these um, over the door hangers. So there I keep a couple necklaces um, and all of my belts. And the ones I wear the most, I try to keep on the first um, bar. So and I also hang that Victoria's Secret bag there because it just kind of doesn't really fit anywhere else. Um, so that's everything. That is my closet tour. I hope you all enjoyed it. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, as you can see, I really try to organize things by colors and prints. And I organize everything from like long sleeve to mid sleeve to short sleeve to no sleeves. I just think that's the best way to find things. So you group things in categories by what they are and then by color. So that's everything. I hope you enjoy. Bye.